Hey, everybody. My name is Ethan Ostroff. I'm a personal injury lawyer with the Ostroff Law Firm. I handle car crash cases, dog bite cases, slip and fall, any situation where you were hurt and not at fault. That's what I do. Today, what we're going to talk about is how long it takes to settle your car accident claim or case. But before I get to that, make sure to click that subscribe button. Join us along where we will make sure that your future personal injury case is protected. Um, so today, how long does it take to settle your car accident claim? This is a really important and very well searched question. It is commonly asked the first phone call I get on, the, on with my clients, how much is my case is worth? How long is this going to take? So there's really a couple parts to it that you should really think about. In terms of a personal injury car accident claim, there are really two parts to it. Part one, property damage, which is your car damage. For example, let's say that you got rear-ended and your bumper is broken. That falls under property damage. Now, separately, your personal injury case happens as a complete separate action, and that's something I'm gonna talk really importantly about through this video. So think about those two things separately. You've got damage that is gonna cost you, let's say $1,500 to repair your bumper, and then there's also, let's say you broke your arm and you broke your leg in that car accident. That's a completely separate part of this case. So I'm gonna talk about both of those because they're both important. Let's first start with the property damage. Property damage, you don't need a lawyer for. If a personal injury lawyer tells you you need them for property damage, they're gonna take a one-third fee on a call that takes them seriously 15 minutes. You can deal with, and I mean specifically, and only your property damage on your own. So the way that you handle that is whoever is at fault is responsible for who is going to pay for that property damage. So for example, you got rear-ended, you're gonna get in touch with that other driver's insurance company specifically and only about your property damage. Do not speak to them about your personal injury case. I'm gonna get to that soon. Property damage, if they start going in saying, oh, were you hurt? I'm not gonna answer that question. I'm gonna stick this call specifically about my car damage. That's all I'm allowed to talk to you about. Okay? You gotta be really clear with these insurance companies because they will prod you and try to poke at you to get information about your personal injury case because that's where their real exposure is and what they might have to pay the most for. Property damage, you can handle on your own. You will get a dollar for dollar minus your deductible for the damage to your vehicle. Property damage, how long does it take? You really should be getting a check within 30 to 60 days after a car accident. If it takes longer, maybe there's a dispute as to liability, which means who's at fault. When that stuff gets worked out, then that car damage will get paid for. Now separately, the personal injury side of this, that can take a lot longer. Let me explain why and some dirty tricks that insurance companies will use against you. Your personal injury case first when you are settling your property damage claim, you should have your personal injury lawyer, which you definitely need for the personal injury part of your case, overview and review the release, which is a document that releases an insurance company from liability in a car accident. So for example, when you sign your property damage release, you're releasing that insurance company from paying you anything more than what they're saying they will pay you to release them. So once you sign on the dotted line, let's say that an insurance company, I've seen this happen, tries to sneak language into that release that says that they are settling both your personal injury and your property damage claim, guess what? You're shit out of luck because you just waived your right to your personal injury case, which is a completely separate action. So before you actually sign off, on the property damage release, you want your personal injury lawyer to review that document to make sure that you didn't miss something and that you don't waive your right at your personal injury case. So that's step one of your personal injury case. Deal with property damage first. You can deal with the communication on your own. Do not pay an injury lawyer for that, but do not sign that document without the help of your lawyer, okay? Now personal injury, how long does it take for that to happen? In most states, there's either a two or three year what's called statute of limitations. There's a common misconception about the statute of limitations. That doesn't mean that your case must resolve within that period of time. It means that you must sue within that period of time. 
So the way that it typically goes and how long it goes is very dependent on how hurt you are. So let's say that you broke your arm and you broke your leg and you need physical therapy and surgery for those two things. And let's say that it took you 15 months from the date of the accident to being at the point of what's called either discharge, which means you're, you're healed, you're better, you're back to normal, or you reach something called MMI or maximum medical improvement. When you reach that point, maximum medical improvement, that basically means you're not going to get better than where you are. You may not be where you were, but this is how you're going to be. So when you reach that point, then you tell your injury lawyer, hey, I was just discharged. I just was told I reached MMI. And then that injury lawyer will spend the next 30 to 45 days retrieving your medical records. Then they'll spend the next 30 to 45 days after that, once they got your medical records, writing something called a demand. A demand is a document written by a lawyer that says, hey, I want this much money for my client for what they went through. But the only way they can write that demand is if they know everything you have gone through. So if you have gone through everything, then they can ask for everything. But what an insurance company will try to do is call you two days after your accident and say, hey, here's a check for $3,000, take it or leave it right now, or your case is done. Now that is a dangerous situation. You should never accept a personal injury offer like that because there are no exploding offers. You do have two or three years to sue and you need to let your injuries develop to even know what your case is worth. So how long does it take? It takes as long as it does for you to heal. When you are healed, 30 to 45 days to get your medical records, 30 to 45 days to write a demand. And then what they will do, your inju injury lawyer like us, will send that to the insurance companies involved and say, pay our client this much money, you have 30 days to answer us. So then another 30 to 45 days from there, that is the negotiation period where you go back and forth and try to come to a settlement. If that doesn't happen then, then you would sue. You would sue that defendant that struck you. You might even sue your own insurance company. So the main point of this is it will take some time for your injuries to be something that you can claim a specific dollar amount for. You don't want to rush it because if you rush it, your case will be worth less. So let your injuries reach that discharge phase, get to maximum medical improvement, then let your injury lawyer handle the negotiation. That's how long it should take. If it takes longer than two years, that's because you had to sue. It's unfortunate, but guess what? That's sort of the way the court systems work, but you will get your day in court if you do it the right way, but do not rush it because you will lose money in that situation. Thanks so much. Make sure to click that subscribe button below and follow us along for more content. Thank you.